All right, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Remora. My name is Wes, and today, I'm doing my first car video, right? Um, first time doing the car video. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Um, normally, we do our weekly videos. We're trying to get more shorter videos out to you guys. We, we've been getting a lot of uh, feedback on, on the on the shorter videos going over airdrops and different projects and things like that. Over the last week, I went to Beach Mountain, North Carolina. Guys, if you ever get a chance to go there, definitely go, man. It is beautiful out there. Siri's been moving, you know, kind of going state to state and trying to get situated back here in the uh, Carolinas. I just got back yesterday and, you know, we normally do our videos on Thursday, release them on Friday, but this cannot wait any longer. I think it's very important to talk about and I want to talk about the ETF thing and kind of give my opinion, my theory on what to expect. So first of all, you know, this is this is the talk of the town in crypto world. Everybody's talking about the ETF, the ETF, the ETF. And I think it's important to kind of look at both sides of the, the picture here because yeah, in theory, the ETF will bring mass liquidity into the markets, especially for Bitcoin being that it's the Bitcoin ETF. So in theory, yes, it makes sense that the Bitcoin price will move up. A lot of people are speculating that uh, people are gonna be pulling liquidity out of the altcoins and putting it into Bitcoin to catch that ride up. If you're just blindly going into this and 20X leveraging the, the announcement, then I think you're gonna lose. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be that easy, guys. They call retail dumb money for a reason. They call institutional money and whales smart money for a reason because they are smart about the movements that they make. And they don't want retail to win. They don't want dumb money to win, right? So what they're gonna do is, the market makers and the whales, the, the smart money, they're gonna flush out all the open interest, all the longs that are put in, in speculation for this Bitcoin ETF. It's not gonna be that easy, guys. When the announcement is made, longs are gonna get liquidated because people are thinking that once the announcement comes, it's gonna be super bullish and we're gonna to pump to the moon. And and it is it is bullish, like it is super bullish when the ETF comes, right? But just because they announce it doesn't mean that it's gonna go live right away. They're saying it could go live as soon as, you know, within 24 hours of the announcement but it could also take a whole nother week. We really don't know. They could approve the spot Bitcoin ETF and then prolong it to where it doesn't go live for uh, you know another week or two or three weeks. We don't know. If you are over leveraged, I think you should you should really reconsider uh, repositioning yourself to to kind of I don't know mitigate risk, right? But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a limit order around 42,000, I'll probably put a buy order at 42, and I'll probably put another buy order in around 41, and some change, right? Um, not an even number, because they, they never get even, they never really go there, right? They're, the market makers, they, they can see the levels that they wanna take the price to, and they will take the price to, and they can see, like, it needs to go here to wipe out this amount of um, longs, right? I think we get the announcement, they wipe out the longs, Hopefully my limit order goes in around 42,000, 41,000, and then we go long, baby. We long, um, we long this, uh, the, the correction back up to the upside. I, I could be completely wrong. Um, you just never know. But this is my theory, and I think that this is the way. Make sure you're paying attention to this, because just because we get the announcement doesn't mean, and we could, we could get a fake out to the upside, right? Maybe the announcement comes, um, retail starts piling in, and then after it, you know, the, the mass liquidation on the longs happens, then a mass liquidation on the shorts will happen, and dumb, and dumb money's just getting wrecked all over the place, right? This is how they do it. These are the whaleish games that they play. They do not want you getting in on this. So this is what we're all about, thinking like the market makers, thinking like the smart money, the whales. That's what this channel is based on. But anyway, I'm just uh, I'm just running my mouth, just, you know, some random guy talking, driving, and um, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of express my theory and, and let you guys know what I think is gonna happen. So I think we should play it safe, be cautious. You know, I, I do think that just because the ETF 
ship gets announced, maybe we um, have a fake out to the upside. People start piling in on the longs, and uh, and then we, we flush out the longs, a, a drop, a correction, a wicked correction, like a nasty correction to the upside for the fake out or to the downside for the fake out, wipe out the longs, and then everybody, the, the retail and dumb money starts flipping short, and then they start going short because they want to catch that continuation, and um, and, and then you know they, they they switch it on you again, and the smart money goes long, and then wipes you out of your shorts. So you just got to be careful, man. This has happened to me a lot of times. You know, I just started trading not too long ago, but it happens a lot. Um, and if it does happen to you, I mean, just learn from it, right? It's an experience. You got to learn from it, grow and pick yourself up and just try again and figure out what you did wrong that time you know what i mean that's what i'm doing you know what can i do differently um, to, to prevent that from happening and i think that uh the safety measures you know putting a stop loss in uh, and, and just double checking the levels looking at open interest uh, and, and just kind of seeing what other wallets are doing there's wallets big big money wallets you can follow you can see what they're doing that's the beautiful thing about blockchain is everything is there in front of you um, so yeah anyways guys make sure you are following us on all socials at the crypto remora make sure you're following Sierra at Sierra crypto and myself at crypto macgyver much love to the arbanos much love to the donkeys much love to you guys for being here and listen to me run my mouth and talk nonsense i appreciate you guys love you guys and until next time